John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Tonight, I'm talking to you about some of the new stuff that came into the office this week. And right now, the first thing we're going to talk about is this little guy from Cambridge Audio. <laughs> you can't see it much. But this is called DAC Magic, D-A-C Magic, and it's the XS for, well, I suppose you could say because of its size, it's kind of extra small, but with the sound, we're going to call it extra sexy. Um, it's a USB device. It comes with a little USB cable, a little micro USB cable. I've just got to turn it the right way. And you plug this into your, your laptop, uh, computer, what have you. The idea behind this is, of course, it's USB audio output device. It's got an eighth inch jack, stereo eighth inch jack, um, volume control on the side of it. But with this guy, is basically a sound card, USB sound card for your, your laptop. Now, a lot of us have got... Um, PC laptops, and of course, PC laptops, the audio, you know, the headphone jack coming out the side is really not the greatest. Um, Apple usually are a little bit better, but again, they're still leaving a lot to be desired um, compared to an, you know, an external. A lot of us have uh, DJ controllers. That's pretty cool, but for the people who don't have a DJ controller of any sort, this guy is incredible. Um, I plugged this in to my laptop, and, and I was running my sound system. I, I ran it. Typically, I've got my sound system through a DJ controller, which uh, those, of course, some have really good audio cards in those and some not so great, but it's a good quality one. I played, listened to that. Okay, great. And then I went into the headphone jack. You could hear a difference between the headphone jack and a higher quality a DJ controller that you're missing something. Um, you know, is that because the controller is coming out with XLR going into the powered speaker? Possibly, but I don't, I don't think that was a huge thing because then I took this guy, plugged it in, and instead of running the 8th inch jack in, out of the headphone jack of the laptop, and this was an Apple, by the way, I plugged the, the DAC Magic in. Again, Cambridge Audio here. Um, wow, night and day difference. Just the things you could hear. I mean, it sounds like you are wearing an incredible pair of headphones and listening to this, this rich sound. Really, I was quite impressed with it. That was with a, a good quality speaker system. So I decided to do some checking. So then we went from a good quality speaker, um, you know, mid to upper end speaker. We then put on more of an entry level speaker because I have some of those here in the office. You didn't notice the sound difference with an entry level speaker. It was interesting. I mean, you could tell maybe a little bit, but really, I, I, I don't think I really noticed that much difference with the guy. So then we took it, uh, we took the uh, took the little device. And uh, did it with tried it with headphones. You know, I started out with uh, just a pair of inexpensive earbuds. You know, I think these are you know, whatever Sony. Anyway, something you buy for twenty five, thirty bucks at your department store. Um, went headphone jack on the laptop, and then used the DAC Magic. I really didn't hear a ton of difference. Now, again, that's that's more of an entry level headphone. Now I take this guy. And I use some very, very high-end headphones, which you guys, if you watch some of my videos, um, we've got some high-end headphones here in the office. So we tried it with some high-end headphones. Then you could hear the difference. When you have some good quality headphones, basically, you know, good quality sound going in, good, qu good quality coming out. When I've got this hooked up and I've got good quality coming into the cheaper headphones, I don't have good quality coming out. It's not because of this, it's because of the headphones. So if you, you know, have entry-level stuff, you know, something like this probably not going to be a big thing for you. But if you are, you know, getting into the higher end and you need to have an audio card, it's a really, really cool device. Um, I played with other USB audio devices that have been in the $40 range. This guy, I think I saw online, was around $200 or so. It's not a cheap, cheap device. Um, this is for truly for an audio file. Um, my guess is that, uh, you know, it's coming in with a, a higher quality uh, a feed from your computer and my thought is that it must um, it must be some built-in equalizing going on because you're just hearing things that sounds like you've done some fine, fine tweaking with equalizing you know enhancement of some sort again high quality gear you're going to hear a difference if you're entry level not so much but anyway that was something new that came into the disc jockey news office this week uh, the DAC magic here from where from Cambridge Audio take a look at that but anyway some cool stuff.